say what you will, but I love the original Batman. It was campy, fun, colorful, and full of outrageous characters. Back when you can understand him, and he didn't sound like he gargled with glass. Ugh. How dare you, Bane? Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. That's for another topic. Altogether. I'm not even going to go there. Batman has seen some many incarnations in animation, movies, games. But one I truly get a kick out of was the original. People producing it and acting in it knew that it wasn't really meant to be taken so seriously all the time. And, you know, it pretty much showed in the final cut. From that, something pretty cool happened. 1966 saw the release of Batman to the big screen, starring Adam West, Burt Ward, Lee Merriweather, meow, Frank Gorshin, Burgess Meredith, and Cesar Romero. It was, it was just like every single Batman episode rolled into one. You had elaborate plots by our villains, extravagant traps, and scenes like this. Roll film. Ready with super blinding bat pellets. <laughs> Fortunately, I was able to dispose of that bomb in the nick of time and shield myself behind these heavy iron pipes. You risked your life to save that riffraff in the bar? They may be drinkers, Robin, but they're also human beings. And may be salvaged. I had to do it. A lot of people may think that it was stupid and probably not the greatest cinematic feature of all time. But you know... That's what made it great. You don't always need dramatic overtones all the time. Sometimes, you just have to laugh at the absurdity of it all. The story is this. Penguin, along with his cohorts, 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 Joker, Riddler, and Catwoman, devise a villainous plan to rid themselves of the dynamic duo once and for all by combining their forces and forming the united underworld to conquer the world. They hijack a yacht, which is holding a super dehydrator, which can turn any living matter into colorful dust. They take this dehydrator and crash a security summit reducing its members into dust and containing them in little glass vials. It's up to Batman and Robin to track them down and put an end to their wrongdoings. To the Let's go. <laughs> yeah, a little over the top, right? I mean, it was pretty outrageous. But it's totally worth watching again and again. 
especially if you're a big fan of Batman or Adam West. Hello. Remember, this is the stuff that I grew up on. So, some results may vary. I just say, give it a shot. What else is there to say? Well, I guess that's it. If you like my little walk down memory lane, be sure to thumbs up and leave a comment. You know, I welcome new ideas for the show, so you can contact me through Twitter and email. I mean, I would really, really like to hear from you guys. Let's go. Also, if you missed any of my earlier episodes, be sure to click on one of those magical annotations. Till next time, that's all I got. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb.